Here's a family unit right here. They just gave up in this area. So we, we're driving through between the river and where the wall is. And as we come around a bend, we walk onto a whole group of folks that uh, they're not legally present here. It's a group of individuals, some children, some adults. They've been wandering around through this area looking for a place to be able to get through, to be able to get in. Look, they've identified some scouts that are in the area, some young people that are poking in and out of the brush where it looks like they're trying to move some people illegally. And that family told the agent that they've They've been wandering around in this area since 9 a.m. this morning. They crossed the river as a family unit and, and they got lost. There was too many to put in the van, so they told them where to walk so they could be picked up by a center. So they just took off and the helicopters kind of tracked them to make sure they show up where they're supposed to show up. There are some people that think immigration and illegal immigration has a problem. It's not. It's hundreds of complicated, smaller problems all combined together. They're, they're dealing with housing for unaccompanied minors. Um, all unaccompanied minors are not the same. Uh, some of them have a family member that's illegally present in the country, maybe a mom or a dad, and they'll be very rapidly connected uh, back to a mom or dad here in the country and be told to show up for a hearing. Often that hearing is two or three years in the future. Uh, some of the individuals that are in the uh, care of Office of Refugee Resettlement will be there for months because they don't have any other family member uh, and they have no legal right to be in the country and no connection with anyone in the country. They don't know if there's a thousand coming today or if there's ten coming today. Uh, they don't know if they're adults or if they're children. And if none of the facilities along the border were set up for large groups of individuals coming. Uh, they were all set up for legal crossing and now they're facing thousands of people crossing the border each day. Uh, I know the work that my men and women are doing out here and trying to take care of people, and it's just hurtful and demoralizing when all you do is keep getting slammed uh, because you're trying to do the best here, and nobody's happy with it, but they're also not willing to come up with a solution. The sun's setting. We already are the busiest time of day is from 2 p.m. to midnight, and we're in the busiest part of the busiest sector. And the Border Patrol folks have been fantastic. And believe me, they admit they have problems, but a lot of the problems are inflicted by Congress. When all of a sudden ICE doesn't get any money, it just puts a block in processing people. It's not just a humanitarian crisis at the border, but it is a national security crisis as well. The U.S. CBP is doing a, just a phenomenal job with what they are given and what they have been handed. And unfortunately, we're getting pushback from across the aisle on uh, what we can do and what we should be doing, but CBP cannot keep up this pace. They cannot, they can't do it without Congress stepping up. Until we change the laws, we can never catch up. People are coming from around the world to get in the United States, and we got to do something different. It's not a, it's not an end-all, be-all. It's not the wall of China, but it, it is an effective. It slows them down, correct? There's businesses and everything all on the other side of this, just within a few feet of the wall here at this point. If there wasn't a wall here to even slow people down, people would literally run across this border straight into a business, disappear into a shopping area, and would just blend right in. So when you've got a city on this side and the border on this side, it's really important you have something to slow people down. This wall slows people down. And when I talked to the Border Patrol folks about it, they said it's exceptionally effective at slowing people down and so they can actually interdict them on this side before they get into the city.